we've come before you Lord to praise you and worship you as our God we are grateful for giving us this opportunity to come under your feet because you are our God we ask Reverend Joshua to pray for the speaker and to us that as the word of God come forth to us to build us to encourage us to revive us to take us to cause revelation for this season in Jesus name Father in the name of Jesus we are mm. so thankful that you have gathered us yet again in yes, your Lord. presence in your presence there is fullness of joy Jesus. and this afternoon you have prepared a table yes, that you may feed us through your word as you use your servant yes, anoint him afresh for this moment Jesus. for this season in the name of Jesus sir. and as we sit to hear you yes, Lord. open up our hearts ready to receive ready to be shepherded Jesus. of you ready to be encouraged if you wish oh Lord direct us through your word Hallelujah. and do that which you have purpose to do that only yes. you can do this afternoon and praise and honor shall be back unto you mm. in Jesus Jesus name we give praise. Amen. Amen. Come on, let us celebrate God. Let us celebrate God. Amen. Let us also appreciate our priesthood. Let us appreciate our priesthood. Thank you very much. We can have a seat. Thank you, priesthood, for your dedication to this wonderful ministry. You are here for a good time. You are here for a good time. So I want to appreciate each of you who have sacrificed your time to be in this international conference. And I want to declare to you that your life you will never ever be the same again. And the viewers who are looking at us, who are hearing us from this media, we declare that your life you will never be the same again as you continue following us and watching us and hearing us in this international seminar. May you continue to enjoy the preaching in Jesus' name. We thank God that God has given us so many preachers, five of them from different churches. And they have gone to our various churches to, that they can be able to minister the word of God. Amen. Today we have uh, the man of God who is with us now. This morning and the, the, this morning, this afternoon, and also in the evening, because every pastor will be preaching lunch hour and Gioni. However, we have uh, our pastor of the River Church, Maj Mazuri. Maj Mazuri, Kaivo Ananero Zuri. Aye. Come on, let us appreciate our Reverend Paolo to come and bring the word of God from Maj Mazuri. Come on, hand for Jesus. This home, enjoy yourself. Yes. Wana si fiwe sana. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Pastor Paul Njuguna from uh, Count Baringo, Count of Baringo, um, sub county of Elda Maravin. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Uh, na nyanyekea sana mbere ya bishop pamoja na mam. Na kumbuka ya kwamba walikuja pale kwetu uh, mwezi wa tatu uh, mwaka huu. Na ilikuwa ni ya baraka sana tukafanya networking pamoja na yeye. Na leo tuko hapa tumefanya networking na wachungaji mbalimbali wa maeneo haya. Kwa hivyo I feel very much privileged to be in the presence of you as a people of God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ah. Uh, Namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya siku ya jana tulipewa kanuni ambazo ni za ufalme wa mbinguni. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. That now I feel humbled to be in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And in each very kingdom, there is rules and regulations for you to grow. Hallelujah. Just simple like that. Katika maeneo yote, 
katika idara yoyote iko na kanuni pia kuna sheria na mikataba ambayo imewekwa ili mtu aweze kukua pia katika ufalme huu wa mbinguni kuna kanuni ambazo tunapewa ili tuweze kukua in the name of Jesus so today we don't want to talk about uh, principle of violence <laughs> hallelujah allow me just to speak a, a, a kind of a continuity of the message of yesterday ya kwamba kuna nguvu there is power in growth hallelujah Wana atukuza sana kuna uweza wa kukua katika jina la Yesu hallelujah nilikuwa nikitazama uh, katika maandiko na nikapata nikienda katika Genesis kitabu cha mwanzo na nikaingia katika mlango wake wa kwanza na mlango wake na aya yake ya 27 na 28 na nilikuwa nikijaribu kuwa, kutazama na kuangalia kila kitu kinapokuwa nafasi ya kukua kuna nguvu fulani ambayo nifiche. Ha? Haleluya. Bwana inurue sana. Hapa kanisani ili sisi tuwepo kuna nguvu fulani ambazo ilianza katika msingi fulani. In the name of Jesus. Today we are celebrating to be in this church because of our bishop. Haleluya. And behind bishop there is another power that make him do the ministry na akaadhiri sana muji wa muranga haleluya so when i was reading this i find it very interesting wacha tusome pamoja katika lugha ya Kiswahili ambayo inasema kwa hiyo tunasoma mwanzo Uh, mlango wa mlango wa kwanza na aya yake 27 na ile ya 28 kwa hiyo Mungu akamumba mtu kwa mfano wake mwenyewe kwa mfano wa Mungu alimuumba mwanaume na mwanamke aliwaumba sikia sasa hapa 28 Mungu akawabariki akawaambia zaeni mkaongezeke muka mkaijaze tena dunia na kuitisha mkatawale samaki wa baharini ndege wa angani na kila kiumbe hai kiendacho juu ya ardhi haleluya ile ya kiingereza inasema hivi 28 and god blessed them and god said unto them be fruitful haleluya so before you become fruitful there is a power behind the fruits haleluya bwana asifiwe sana there is a power you cannot be fruitful when there is no power of making you fruitful so i am talking about that growth which is not seen <laughs> Hallelujah. Bwana inurue sana. We can see our people in the school. There is a power hidden there. We send them to school, but the parent is seated at home, but all the source, all the need of our students, there is somebody who is pushing it to that person to grow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bwana apewe sifa. And that's why the Bible is telling us when God created them, man and woman, the first thing he did it is to breathe them with the power to grow. Hallelujah. Today I have just come to decree and declare in your life. May you receive that power of growth. Hallelujah. You know when you do not grow you will be called another name which you not like. Hallelujah. 
wakati ambapo wewe hautakukubali kukuwa na nguvu za kukufanya ukue utapewa jina badara utaitwa umeraniwa utaitwa wewe unaabudu shetani but god the first thing he did to humankind he gave them a blessing to bear fruits haleluya so the fruits will come when you sit when you obey when you hear when you pursue and when you follow Jesus Christ without that it is in vain to bear fruit in the book of Matthew chapter 20 uh, Matthew number chapter number 21 and verse 20, and verse 18 and 19 Jesus is cursing a fig tree. Hallelujah. Because of one reason, it had no fruit. Hallelujah. The, the tree maandiko inasema yeye aliona ule mti ulikuwa ni mti mzuri. Na anasema alikuwa ameamka wakati wa asubuhi na yeye akaona njaa baada ya kuona njaa akaona mti mzuri na alipokuwa na uendea hakapata ya kwamba hauna matunda that one is not your portion haleluya let us not be a believer who look smart physically but inside they have no growth in them haleluya Wacha tusikue wa Kristo wa umini wa Yesu Kristo ambao sisi tutaonekana tuko katika maisha yetu ya kawaida tuko sawa lakini ndani ya mioyo yetu tukawa ya kwamba hatuna neno la Mwenyezi Mungu Let us have the growth inside Yesu anawauliza na anawaambia, "Mbona nyinyi mafarusayo na masadukayo mnajua jinsi ya kuosha vikombe vyenu nje, lakini ndani?" Anaongea pamoja na na Samueli. Wanasifu sana. Wakati ametumwa, aende ampake mafuta mtumishi wa Bwana katika nyumba ya Jesu. Yeye anapokuwa anatembea Kumbuka kuna nguvu fulani za kukua katika huduma. Haleluya. Na anapoenda pale yeye aliona Eliabu katika maisha ya mwili. Oh may God help us to see inside the people that we preach. Haleluya. Akasema mambo haya nimemaliza. Akasema Eliabu ndio huyo kweli ameja. Bwana akamwambia neno moja kama mimi sitazami kama wewe. May the Lord Jesus Christ come upon you this afternoon and guide you and lead you to remove physical eyes and see with the spiritual eyes because of the growth of the Holy Spirit working upon your life. Bwana ainuliwe. Yesu anasema na mti huo usishi tena na mara hiyo hiyo huo mti unakauka haleluya so jesus it is is against any person who is not growing any person who is not bearing fruits in the name of jesus bwana atukuzwe every father every mother every institution it is happy with somebody who is growing in the name of Jesus baba ametubariki na baraka za kuanzia pale mwanzo anasema namna gani katika aya hiyo nasema Mungu oh, sorry Mungu akawabariki akiwaambia zaeni mkaongezeke. Haleluya. Ini Chris. Haleluya. No. The term growth 
inside you can increase unto the four corners of the world hallelujah you can multiply yourself in all sides of the world in the name of Jesus I come to decree and declare to you this afternoon that you must increase in your spiritual life hallelujah I have come to decree and declare to you you must multiply I thank you very much our DCC hallelujah you know we are saying tukwa tukisema hivi ya kwamba sisi tumekuwa divided na mkatukosoa mkatuambia hatujakuwa divided we have been multiplied so you should be multiplied in your life bwana ainuliwe bwana apewe sifa kwa hivyo every father when is happy when the church is increasing the family is adding everything is multiplied everybody is happy even god at heaven is happy hallelujah bwana atukuzwe bwana apewe sifa now in the new testament ametuleta akimuleta Yesu kwa mfano wa katika mambo haya tunayonena wakati Yesu anapata kuzaliwa tunamuona tukielekezwa katika mambo haya ambayo anatunenea katika Genesis na number 1 and verse 28 katika Luka a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, na hamsini na um, Luka mbili mlango wa pili na aya ya hamsini na moja na, msta, na hadi mstari wa, ishiri, wa hamsini na tatu inasema hivi and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in wisdom with the God and man Aleluya. in every kingdom as we were taught yesterday in the old testament He is blessing us. Hallelujah. Ili Yesu aje atie mambo haya nguvu analetwa katika huo msingi anapokuwa anazaliwa. Bwana atukuzwe. Bwana asifiwe. And in this verse tunapata vitu vine. Hallelujah. that we owe to imitate Jesus we owe to live as Jesus lived hallelujah if we want to succeed point number one, you must grow in wisdom hallelujah you must we are saying this afternoon that you must ambia jirani yako inakubidi ukuwe na hekima Muguze tu corona irisha mwambie inakubidi ukuwe katika hekima Bwana atukuzwe God want us grow in wisdom God wisdom come from above So the growth we see in wisdom does not come from men. Hallelujah. I know we have many men and women who are learned. I have no problem with that, but the wisdom of God it comes from heaven. And with that wisdom can it make you achieve anything in this world anything that you want with the wisdom of god bwana apewe sifa if we can go to james the book of james you can see the wisdom that i'm talking about james 3 and verse number 17 and 18 but the wisdom of heaven it is pure first of all hallelujah 
the wisdom from heaven. It is pure. Huh? <laughs> it is pure. Hekima kutoka binguni ni halisi. Halisi. Hallelujah. Haija changanywa na kitu chochote. Haija likuwa diluted. Haija kuwa mixed up. It is pure. So, when you want to grow, you must arouse. The wisdom which is pure in your life. Hallelujah. If you can need hapo juu mstari wa wa 16 which I don't want us to go there but you can need on your own. You can see the wisdom of the world. Wivu, chuki, machukizo, ufisadi, all those are evil things. But I'm talking about pure wisdom that come from God. As if he will walk, do anything with a pure heart that leads you to have a pure faith, pure wisdom. Hallelujah. I don't know whether it is a first king or second king. They are talking about Solomon. Hallelujah. He went before the Lord with his sacrifices. And one day and one occasion, the Bible told her, tell us that God Himself came to him. Mungu mwenyewe alimujia comes the word you want, my son. When you have pure wisdom, God will meet your desire. In the name of Jesus. We do not want to do a lot of fantasy. We need pure wisdom. Hallelujah. And when he was asked, what do you want? He had a pure wisdom. Wakati surimani mambo haya anapo kuwa naulizwa, yeye hajataja mambo miyamoja. I only need a divining spirit. In another language, I need only wisdom. To read your people as my father, as my father David was reading them. Pure wisdom. When you have pure wisdom, you recognize the fatherhood in your life. Hallelujah. You recognize. Wow. Mimi ni mefika hapa. Kwa sababu ya kasisi Joshua Mimi nimefika hapa Kwa sababu Ya mtu moja Alie ni ajiri Na kamnipatia na fasi Ya kujua kazi hii Many a time we do not recognize those people Because of pride in us Because we have Fifty Wisdom May God help us today and change our mind and have a pure wisdom that will make us humble before the Lord and pray the prayer that Solomon prayed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another thing. You must have the wisdom that it is peaceful. Hallelujah. Ah, huh? Hallelujah. Heki maambayo inaleta amani. Wana hatu kuzwe. Katika mambo haya tunona kile ambacho kilimusaidia yesu 
yeye ni mfalme wa amani kwa sababu alikuwa na hekima ndani yake iliyojaa amani you cannot give that which you do not have today may god help our churches may god help our homes may god help our nations by wisdom of peace we will be quarreling between the president and the opposition they are citizens of this nation it is only one item of prayer that we can pray before the lord the priest of peace to reign in our nation and that time it will take control of everything in the name of Jesus Jesus grew in wisdom and James his brother knows how he was able to overcome all this and he became victorious one thing can make us victoria in our spiritual life it is to have peaceful wisdom hallelujah Many a time we are dying. Many a time we are struggling. But pray to the priest of peace to give you wisdom of peace. You remember that scenario when the two women came with a with a, with a live baby? Ah, hallelujah. Neza kumbuka hapo? Maandiko inasema namna gani? Kwa mama wawili mmoja amelalia mtoto wake amekufa na mwingine naye mtoto wake yuko hai, yule aliyekuwa hai, yule aliyekuwa ameua mtoto wake akabadilisha na alipobadilisha sasa mambo haya akamfikia Suleimani. Hallelujah. Imagine yourself you are in that scenario. You will try to gather all kind of counseling but the priest of peace will bring peace to any problem in the name of Jesus he just looked at them hallelujah aliwaangalia na akawatazama na akasema okay mtoto ni wako mtoto ni wako soja niletee upanga may god give us a peaceful wisdom to solve problem in our churches in our marriages in our businesses in our nation in the name of Jesus we just need only one person carrying in his heart the wisdom of peace hallelujah and so we shall be re- we shall live in that peace in all our lives hallelujah allow me to go to another point that when we grow in peace how we are going to be in the name of jesus hallelujah gentleness hallelujah katika hali ya upole wanapewa sifa maandiko inasema katika wa filipi yeye alikuwa mpole na kaelekezwa akaelekezwa kama mwana kondoo kuchinjwa may god give us the wisdom of gentleness of gentleness haleluya kukua kisirani haitalete faida yoyote kukua kisirani haitakuletea uh, baraka zozote be gentle haleluya the wisdom ordain to us the wisdom to be gentle in the name of Jesus tutaendelea jioni in the name of Jesus haleluya tupigie bwana makofi mazuri katika jina tupigie bwana makofi mazuri katika jina la Yesu remember the bible is telling us that we must grow in wisdom it was ordained by god 
And when he brought Jesus Christ to this world, he started giving him wisdom. Hallelujah. There are more others that you are going to run in the evening in the name of Jesus. To simame katika jina la Yesu. To simame katika jina la Yesu kimleta a bishop katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Leo kia mweza kumwambia wisdom, pure wisdom, gentle wisdom, and pure wisdom. Come on, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Just thank God for wisdom of God. One minute. Just thank God for that pure wisdom. Thank God for that uh, gentle wisdom. Thank God for that gentle wisdom. Just thank God for wisdom because we need wisdom from God. We need wisdom that you continue to be solving problems uh, in our life. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Father, we thank you for speaking to us, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for using your servant, Reverend the Paulo. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we need to grow in wisdom. That Jehovah God, we can be solving the problem that we come on our way in our life, in our family, in our Christian life, in our church and Jehovah God, and even our nation. Father, we thank you for using your servant. We give praise and glory to your Father Lord for speaking to us very clear this afternoon. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are a good God, you are a wonderful God, because you are like us to grow. You need uh, you need your wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior and our Redeemer. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God, mighty Redeemer. We worship you, we bless you, Lord, as you continue to impact us. Thank you, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We Jesus. give you all the honor. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because of your word that has come in our lives, Jesus. Lord. That word, the Lord, has entered in our heart. Yes, Lord. It will not be in vain, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Satan will not take what you have planted in our yes, lives Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. We cancel the plan of the evil in our in lives in the name, in the name of, name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Mm. That seed of wisdom, my Father, we yes, pray. Lord. Let it manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. Yes, Let Lord. it be evidence in our family, in our mm. church, in our in our area, Lord. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. People will come unto us and ask for that wisdom. Yes. As the ancient came to Solomon to ask for that wisdom, mm. we pray that Moranga in the old Kenya Lord will come and ask wisdom, wisdom in from God. us in the mighty name wisdom. of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, Peaceful because wisdom. you have done it, O oh God. Yes, My Father, receive all the praise, receive all the honor. As we are going to meet you, O oh God, again in the evening, O oh God, Jesus. we pray, Lord, that Lord, we are ready to listen from Hallelujah. you, Lord. Use your servant, O oh God, grant him more grace in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We and believe. Amen. Amen. Come on. Give a big head for Jesus. Come on. Give a big head for Jesus. Amen. Let us lift up our hand to our different power and to him. That was powerful. We need wisdom to be solving the problems that comes on our way in Jesus' name. So this after this evening, 5 that we'll be here again and we hear from God that we can be men and women who will be solving the problem and not creating the problem in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a big basket in the back there. So when you are going out, you put your good offering with Jaza Yoki Kambu and that turn the journey. Let's apprehend one me. May the revelation which you have received this afternoon help you to continue solving all the problems that come on your way for the glory of God in Jesus' name. And the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Please let us be men.